The sentencing in that landmark case, a young woman sentenced to two and a half years behind bars. The judge then allowing her to stay free while she appeals the case. All of this after being convicted for sending text messages to her then boyfriend, urging him to take his life. ABC's Deborah Roberts was in the courtroom and she joins us now from Taunton, Massachusetts. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, David. This is a case that was full of surprises from the beginning. Many questioning whether Michelle Carter should have ever been charged in the death of her boyfriend, given that no other internet case has resulted in a homicide conviction. And now, big questions about that light sentence she got that seemed to stun the victim's family. Ms. Carter, please stand. A shocking decision in a Massachusetts courtroom. Ms. Carter, a guilty finding having entered on the indictment charging you with the involuntary manslaughter of Conrad Roy III now sentences you to two and a half years in the Bristol County House of Correction. Fifteen months of said sentence shall be deemed a committed sentence. On Thursday afternoon, 20-year-old Michelle Carter sentenced for her role in the death of her boyfriend, Conrad Roy III. In June, the surprising verdict. This court, having reviewed the evidence and applied the law thereto, now finds you guilty. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Her weapon? Text messages urging 18 year old Roy to take his life through carbon monoxide poisoning inside his pickup truck. Carter, then 17, firing off messages like, If you want it as bad as you say you do, it's time to do it today. Even telling him to get back in the truck when he gets nervous. She manipulated and deceived his family into believing she tried her hardest to save him. She lied to the police about her role in his death. On Thursday, during the sentencing, Conrad's sister speaking through tears. Not a day goes by with, without him being my first thought, waking up, and my last thought, going to bed. Throughout those 13 years with him, I have countless amazing memories that will always be with me. His dad taking aim at Carter. Michelle Carter exploited my son's weaknesses and used him as a pawn in her own well-being. She has not shown any remorse. But in a surprise turn, the judge granting the defense request for Carter to remain free while the state court of appeals determines whether or not to reverse the conviction. The conviction may be reversible, but the time spent in prison is not. And in an ABC News exclusive, Roy's family speaking out post-sentencing, sharing their anguish. She should have been escorted out of that courtroom in handcuffs today. You thought she should have gone out in handcuffs? Absolutely. And when she didn't, when the judge said that he would let her remain on probation while they appeal this, what happened for you? It was a moment? slap in the face. We just sat in this courtroom for three years for what? To watch her walk away. We expected her to get something, something. As my mom would say, my grandson can't rest in peace. He can't rest in peace till this is over, and it's not over. So far, Michelle Carter has not spent a night in jail. Her lawyer was able to buy her a little more time with that motion. He tells me that he is optimistic that she will remain free for weeks, if not months, while awaiting that appeal. And by the way, Michelle Carter will turn 21 in about a week. David? Deborah Roberts with us from Taunton, Massachusetts this morning. Deborah, thank you.